Hello and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. We're going to cover the month of December for your zodiac sign. First, we need to shuffle the cards. Get the deck ready. I have my trusty pendulum. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. You'll see the view of this and your cards for a three card layout from above. This is a reading for people born under the zodiac sign of Taurus, which is April 20th to May, to May 20th for December 2021. Now, before I get too far into it, I want to read the strengths and weaknesses that are believed to be generally associated with being a Taurus. So don't get your feelings hurt here. Generalization. Strengths, reliability, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, stable. Weaknesses, stubborn, possessive, uncompromising. Okay, now maybe those pertain to you, maybe they don't. Take it for what it's worth. So now what I'm going to do is shuffle the cards. I'm going to split them, cut them, and uh, shuffle them three times. Here we go. And then we'll do our three card layout. So. There's one. There's two. Number three. There we have it. Okay, now I'll spread them out. Move my pendulum off to the side here. <clears throat> Now I have kind of a confined workspace, so my spreads are a little sloppy looking. All right, so I choose three cards. Left hand, because it's associated with the right hemisphere of the brain, which is the intuitive side. And I'm going to first choose one, two, and one that's hiding in the weeds here. All right. We'll put these together. And I'll set the deck off to the side. There we go. Now I'll bring the three cards down and I'm going to Bring the camera in close so you have a good view when I turn the cards over. Now, with my left hand, I turn over the card. The first card represents let go. What you need to let go as a Taurus for the month of December. Symbolizing that is the Hierophant. The second card, it represents what you need to know for the month of December. The third card, what your upcoming opportunity is for the month of December. King of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups for what you need to know. So let's take a look at these, see what they, they represent. Organizations, learning, teaching, groups, intuitions, dogma, religion, 
Another name would be the Pope for this card. The Hierophant is the embodiment of ritual, tradition, and conformity. He can be interpreted as a need for acceptance from others and to fit with society. The Hierophant suggests adherence to rules and principles, which could indicate being part of a group of people, whether taking the role of mentor or regular group member. The established system of rules is comforting. But that's what you need to let go. Think about that. How does that fit into your situation? Whether it be your love life, your personal life of some sort, your business. Think how that may have an effect on you for the month of December. The Eight of Cups. What does the Eight of Cups have for you? Unfulfilled. Drained. Focusing inward, spiritual seeker, change of heart. The eight suggests abandoning a disappointing situation. There may be material accumulations, but it is time to seek deeper goals. Now that's what you need to know. Think about that. How does that affect you? How does that fit into your life? What could that have to do with you in the month of December. Something to think about there. We go on to the King of Swords. Masculine, lawyer, judge, cautious, fair, honest, leader, impartial. The King is an intellectual authority, stern and logical. He offers counsel based on superior knowledge and experience. That's your upcoming opportunity. Now, in your mind, can you mold what the King of Swords, what the King of Swords represents to you for this month? It sounds pretty positive to me, and it's something you need to be watching for. That's all I have to say for this three card layout. Now what I'm going to do is top it off with asking my pendulum if this was an accurate reading or not. Show me yes. Counterclockwise circle means yes. Show me no. So when the pendulum answers no to a question, it goes in a clockwise circle for me. All right, now is the question I want to ask the pendulum. Now you're going to see my hand move because that's what moves the pendulum. And my higher consciousness is where the answers come from, but for those answers to be known, it needs to move my hand through idiomotor response in the direction of yes or no with the pendulum. That's how I communicate with my higher consciousness. So for my higher consciousness, for this question, have I given this reading accurately and for the best of the querent chorus for the month of December? All right, we get a very big swinging yes. That's all I have for this reading for Taurus for the month of December. I hope you enjoyed your reading for the month of December and that December turns out to be the best month you had in a very long time. If you have any comments, please put them down below. I'd love to see them and so would other people. Goodbye for now.